Okay, let's um, let's talk a little bit about um, residential uh, zero turn, and I want to talk uh, about some things I've learned in my short short ownership of uh, zero turn. If it's your first time watching the Cub Cadet ZT1. Uh, 42 inch. This is a residential moor. Uh, it has a stamp deck and to some right there that would be a automatic turn off from what I've gathered. Uh, and to some it wouldn't bother them. Uh, the number one question probably is, can you use a residential zero turn for commercial? Sure. The internet has proven it. Um, there are thousands of videos where guys, have, um, individuals have used uh, residential equipment for commercial use. Um, can you get it done with that? Sure. How long you can get it done with that? I'm not sure. How fast you're able to do it compared to commercial? I'm not sure with that because I haven't owned a commercial zero turn. I've owned commercial uh, handheld equipment and a commercial 21 inch Honda HRC 216. So one thing I wanted to talk about was something that I, I observed and, and I've noticed in my uh, short ownership is when you pass by and you see the guys um, doing commercial lots or, or, or units with the uh, you know big commercial equipment whatever brand it may be and, and you see them zooming I mean they, they wide open on a zero turn or the stand or whatever and the lawns look, you know, very nice. They're very well kept. Um, you know, mun municipalities or uh, city buildings, um, uh, businesses, and so forth that have treated, manicured lawns. Home homes as well. Uh, in certain neighborhoods where you have, you know, nice. Uh, we have fescue here in the seven five seven, so that's the uh, prominent grass here. And you see these guys, and they're going through. Um, I mean, wide open, 50 inch, 60 inch, you know, knocking it down. Team of them, maybe four or five or three. So, um, for instance, this uh, Cub Cadet is rated at, um, right here, this, this Cub Cadet says it will go uh, seven miles an hour, okay? Um, Will it go seven miles an hour? I don't know. All I know is it's plenty fast for me for what I do. But this this is what I, I want to say. If you think that you're going to go wide open, cutting those well manicured um, tall lawns, you're going to go seven miles an hour in and out. Lawns going to look great. No, you're not. You're not going to be able to do it with this. Now, I've seen the guys do it with those uh, big commercial units. Uh, I was at a house, uh, a group pulled up to the house next to me, four of them. They had a Hustler, uh, 60 inch, and that guy ran across that yard like nothing. Did he cut it more than once? I'm not sure. And the yard was just as tall as the one I was cutting. So. I cut that yard at 3.5, I believe, and I think when I got there, it might have been right at about uh, maybe six, six inches, 6.5, something like that. So I may have cut off, you know, three inches, so forth. So did he. Um, but what I noticed was in order to have that lawn to look like I know it needed to look to complement the house as well as the neighborhood and what the customer prefers 
I could not go wide open, especially on the front. Now, if you have a backyard that's uh, just as tall, but not well, most people, if they have a fenced in backyard, some of them I notice don't treat the back. So if you have a fenced in backyard, it's basically weeds or just not as, as, as well kept as the front. Sure, you can get in there wide open, knock it out, in and out. But if you have one of those well-maintained, water-treated lawns that basically grows in the growing season every four to five days, you know, sometime even sooner, when you get back within a nine-day or two-week span and you're using a residential zero-turn, um, and all I can speak of is the one that I have owned. You cannot go in those lawns wide open, one hit, and expect it to look like something you want to be representation of you or your business. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, if if you you know you look at the speed, and I made a video, um, you know, talking about how much speed it is over the. Um, you know your garden tractor and it is faster uh, because you you can you can maneuver you know the backing up and turning things of that nature and you know wide open it is faster but if you think that you can go wide open and do a great job on a residential zero turn I have found that out not to be so you have to take it a little slower. Now the cut quality, I'm very pleased with the cut quality. I haven't talked a lot about that. But I'm very pleased with the cut quality on this Club Cadet. But that's taking it at a, a, a uh, slower pace. And so that I don't have to go over it twice. I've only had one lawn where I had to go over it twice. Um, and it was extremely long, but that's because it, it left some of the, you know, the little lines in there, and then I didn't like that. Now I could have taken the blower over and blew them out, but I went back over it twice quickly. Now the second time I did go a lot faster, in and out. So I just wanted to point that out. If you're uh, looking at the speed factor, and you're comparing it to the guys that you see that may have the uh, commercial equipment and they're flying over it now I look at some of the videos and I even see what some of them have to go over twice so I guess there's a, a sweet spot somewhere where you have to find uh, with your personal equipment but I just wanted to let them know that if you might be using the residential equipment for commercial use we've all done it Am I doing it now? Left to be answered. But be aware of the speed factor. You can save time with the zero turn. But are you going to be able to fly across those well manicured lawns like you may see some of your competitors or your uh, 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 other guys in the business, in the industry? No. You're not going to fly over those yawns, lawns at that listed speed, uh, be it seven, six, eight, or whatever it is with the residential. Um, I'm not even sure any guys that have the commercial equipment. I'm quite sure if a couple of them I answer. My man Mo out there in the 757, uh, maybe he'll chime in, you know, and, and give us some reference on that. But okay, guys, take care.